And now, WWE 2K23 presents the Royal Rumble. Welcome everyone, live here in the BMO Field in Toronto, Ontario, for the Royal Rumble. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. As we kick tonight off very, very strong. The World Heavyweight title on the line to kick us off. As John Cena makes his way out in from the entire WWE Universe. John Cena, a part of the SmackDown roster and was able to get a little treat if you will an opportunity at number 17 the world championship john cena is coming for gold welcome everyone to the royal rumble premium live event no doubt winds of change it's the field tonight. Can't wait to see what's, what's gonna go down with all the matches, with the announcement by Triple H. And we kick off tonight with John Cena chasing after number 17. Looking to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Looking to end the era of Switchblade. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the reigning and defending World Heavyweight Champion. The leader of the Bang Bang Gang in Bullet Club Gold. The World Heavyweight Champion won the title at SummerSlam last summer in Jay White. Jay White's going to be one of the most consistent world heavyweight champions in recent memory. A lot of wins under his belt as of late. When he defeated Hollywood Hulk Hogan on SmackDown after Survivor Series. Defeated the OC with AJ Styles and Goldberg involved. At War Games. And then, and then before that, Jay White defeated AJ Styles in a two out of three falls match to where AJ Styles can never challenge for the World Heavyweight title as long as Jay White is the champion. Jay White, since winning the world title at SummerSlam, has been on a massive roll. Even defeated the Prince Finn Balor at the King of the Ring Premium Live event. Jay White, ever since becoming the world champion, has been one of the top stars here in Universe Mode as a whole. But some people feel otherwise. World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Take it to Mike Rowe. Introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 240 pounds, John. Big fight field to kick off the Royal Rumble. Jay White. Looking at the world title, possibly for the last time. John Cena getting a good look at a championship. Cena even got a haircut for this occasion. 
He got that haircut when he came to SmackDown weeks ago. Almost going back to his old roots in order to become World Heavyweight Champion once again. Battle strong and here we go around right the gate. Drop kick by Jay White. Able to take Cena off his guard right out of the gate. But oh, Cena cut him on the knee. Oh, but Jay White returns to kick. And now John able to count on with a fireman's carry. And Cena taking the elbow drop. White had him scouted and caught him with a boot. But couldn't get the knee. And now John Cena on the attack with Jay White able to turn it around. Pump handle gut buster by Jay White. This match came about when John Cena was the newest SmackDown signee. Being granted his opportunity for the world title. Hook and the leg by Jay White. First cover of the match. Not able to get the win for Mr. Switchblade. As John Cena trying to rally on the apron and he caught him. Able to hang him out to dry that Cena. And now John Cena setting Jay White up the ropes. And Cena with a shoulder tackle. Able to take him down. Jay White almost staggered. Caught him with a DDT. White got back into his feet quickly. But he was dazed momentarily. And now Cena. Measuring White. Shoulder into the abdomen. Knocking White onto the outside. Oof. John Cena. Look at Jay White, able to counter. As, oh, able to drive the knee to the side of the skull. The switchblade, Jay White. Look at him keep that oh, World Heavyweight title by any means necessary. Planning Cena onto the barricade, and now Cena gets back in the ring. Those shots and up strikes and up Jay White. Look at the light up center and Jay White. Oh, implant buster. But wait a minute, Cena able to turn it around. Oh, but able to kick it one to Jay and I'm Cena with a death press and Cena throwing the rights all over White's face. And now Jay able to set him off the ropes. Able to duck under, but Cena. He would have catch himself on the ropes. A bit of sidestep to Jay. Got him from behind. Oh, go to back driver. My God. Very impactful move. Knowing Cena's uh, neck injuries in the past. 2008 got a neck surgery. After his match with Batista at SummerSlam. And now Cena. Rights and lefts. Got him downstairs. And now Cena on the attack. Power bomb. Champion. Now Cena. Look at Cena. Reeling Jay White's head backward, but look at the leg underneath the rope. Trevor didn't see that, but Jay White had to fight his way out. Able to escape, and Cena able to counter whatever Jay White had in. It had it stored for him. Cover by Cena, but unable to get the win. Able to kick at one. That time connects the elbow. Jay White is on the defense, if you will. And Cena with a drop kick. You really see that? John Cena with a drop kick, knocking Jay White down. Two polar opposites ah. in sports entertainment. Two different beings in one profession. Jay White bounces up the last rock, the last rock and roller. Cena able to catch him with that lariat and a fisherman suplex. There's John Cena fired up here, here in Toronto. Jam packed over 50,000 in, in attendance tonight. And oh! Did not get Jay White there. Wicked shot to the face. 
John Cena. Set off the ropes by Jay White. Ducks under. Ducks under again. But Jay White, or Cena rather, able to catch himself. And Cena with a dust press that time. No doubt Cena loves to rally off the WWE Universe, but it seems that Jay White able to find a way to counter every time. Lariat after Lariat got Cena in the corner now. And now it's Cena playing defense. Cena in the true role position. And now look at Jay White just driving his boot. Doing more damage to Cena. Messing him up while he was upside down. Cover, hook of the leg, turn the throw him off. But not enough to keep him down for a three. You saw Cena got up to his feet, but Jay White was right there to plant him down. And oh, again, DDT by Jay White. World Heavyweight Championship is at stake here in this matchup. Here at the Royal Rumble. What a Uranagi by Jay White. Jay White just stomping all over Cena. Punching all over Cena. Oh my god. Might have busted open Cena as well, but look at Cena. Able to turn that around. Jay White up to his feet. Cena, oh, had him. Jay White had him scouted. But Cena caught him with the knee. Oh, Jay White fires back. Both men going back and forth momentarily until Jay White even raked the eyes there. Send him off the ropes. Jay White caught him. Flatliner. Flatliner, and now what's this? What the? Jay White? Look at this knee bar submission. Knee bar submission locked in. Almost like a maybe inverted figure four almost. And Cena able to find a way out. Able to escape it at that inverted figure four. But Cena with a fireman's carry slam. Jay White on the, on the defense on the upside. Not gonna like the view of Cena! Shoulder tackle from the top and an elbow right to the face of Jay White. With Cena keeping keep up with this momentum, we could be seeing number 17. We could be seeing John Cena's 17th World Championship. Count of four by the referee. Big right, big right by Cena. Oh, look at this. Oh, knee bar by Cena. John Cena with a knee breaker on the G White. And now Cena. Maybe had plans with the announce table. They're going to break the count, perhaps. J. White obviously being in pain after that knee breaker by Cena. And now look at John. Oh, wait a minute. Could he be thinking? And a two to... No, Jay White escapes. Jay White escapes and come with a Uranagi. And I'm Jay White looking to finish it. Blade Runner. Blade Runner on the Cena. Cena kicks out. Oh, wait a minute. Got him now. Got the legs. Jay White. Look at me go for the Boston Crab. How fitting. Boston Crab and the Boston native himself. John Cena in deep trouble. Locked in the Boston Crab with Jay White. But over Jay White. Unable to make him tap. Cena able to escape. Ooh, elbow to the gut. Nope. Both men able to block and counter. Got red. Slam. That Cena is fired up over oh, Jay White caught him. Jay White caught him with that kick to the open wound. The kick to the open wound, opening up for the Blade Runner. And the era of Switchblade continues. Here is your winner, and still WWE World Heavyweight.
This son of a bitch don't miss, I swear to God! Jay White, still World Heavyweight Champion, defeated one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time, in John Cena. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's just the beginning of the Royal Rumble Premium Live event, where later on tonight, we will see the two premier matches of tonight's event, the Royal Rumble match for the men and the women, who will stand tall and go to WrestleMania. Bianca Belair will defend her WWE Women's Championship against now former Tag Team Champion, number one contender, Gigi Dolan. Seth Rollins and Randy Orton have had an interest with each other over the last couple of weeks. These two are going to hash it out. No holds barred. What is the announcement of WrestleMania? We're going to find out later on tonight as the Chief Content Officer Triple H is here tonight at the Royal Rumble to address WrestleMania and also an announcement for Season 10. But also, we got Carmelo Hayes taking on Gunther for the WWE title later on tonight but also coming up next we got a women's match but let's take you back to the recent episode of smackdown Can Asuka become the new Women's World Champion or Rhea Ripley remain on top? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Championship! No doubt after seeing that brawl on SmackDown this past week, these two they're done talking. All they want to do is battle each other for the Women's World Championship. As here comes the Empress of Tomorrow. The former Women's World Champion, once undefeated, the dangerous Asuka. Asuka earned this opportunity by winning a triple threat match at New Year's Revolution Smackdown edition at the beginning of this year and then ever since Asuka's been on a roll able to have momentum on her side even taunting Rhea Ripley time after time even at her own green screen video package Responding to Rhea Ripley after what Rhea Ripley said the week prior. Again, no more talking between the Empress and the Eradicator. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, live here at the Royal Rumble. With the Women's World Championship on the line. Will Mommy remain on top? Representing the Judgment Day. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley won that Women's World Championship at the King of the Ring Premium Live event. Won it in a triple threat elimination match against Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan. And then defeated Charlotte Flair at Survivor Series. Then defeated Liv Morgan in a tables, ladders, and chairs match at the Elimination Chamber Premium Live event a week later. Rhea Ripley has been on a tear. Despite her being on a tear, 
Rhea Ripley has been a dominant world champion. Anyone that stepped up to her, she's defeated. Ever since winning that women's world title, Ripley's been unstoppable. But will that change tonight here at the Royal Rumble? Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the Women's World Champion, Rhea. Loud crowd reactions from the WWE Universe here in BMO Field here in Toronto, Canada, in my hometown. Not too far from the Rogers Center. Not too far from the Scotia Bank Arena. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oscar Ripley. World title. And right off the gate, Ripley with a lariat takes down the Empress. And now Ripley with a big boot like she did on SmackDown this past week. Ripley not looking to back down at all. She said she had her eyes on Asuka this whole time. Been scouting the Empress. She knew it was a matter of time that Asuka would rise in the rankings to become the number one contender for the women's world title. And Ripley looking to do what she has to do to prevent Asuka from becoming women's world champion once again. Thinking like drop Asuka Kata with a drop kick. Big stomp to the back of the leg. And, oh my God. Driving the knee right into the floor. And, oh, a deadlift German super like Ripley up to her feet almost. But Asuka was ready to strike, but Ripley had her scouted. And now both women are going to get back in the ring. Ripley got from behind, though. Abdomino, no, lands on her feet. They would have counted it, Asuka. And now Asuka now, look at this. Inverted 1916. Taking a page of the balance playbook, there's Asuka. Almost mocking Ripley. We all know Finn Balor, the leader of the Judgment Day, here in this universe mode, as Asuka. Now got the champion almost tied up like a pretzel. And, oh! Big stop right to the arm. Also, a hacker extending the other arm. And now, oh, wicked shots to the face. And now look at this, double knees, code breaker by Asuka. But this got Asuka, that might have been a little bit of gas she had left delivering that move. You saw it barely connected. And now both women on the outside once again here. Oh, wait a minute. Northern Light Suplex. And I rip with the strikes. Oh, my God. Hammer like fist. And then a leg drop to boot. Oh, they can kick. Hey, but a counter. Ooh, elbow to the face. And that was Asuka center. Oh, able to catch herself, but Asuka knocked her down. Boy, he's back and forth, tit for tat almost. Sending Asuka near the, the steps. Asuka now, they're gonna take her time to get back in the ring. This has been brutal, I will say. Holy. Oh. oh, big kick to the face. Asuka now, Asuka now setting off the ropes into a German suplex. Got her down, shoulders it down, not even for a two. Wow. Got her down for a one and that was it. And I think a big right, but Ripley had it scouted. Ripley on a roll, man. I, I'm telling you. And now Ripley goes for the cover. Hook of the leg, shoulders it down. Not enough. 
Oscar gonna roll up for safety, but Ripley not looking to let her breathe at all. On the attack, caught her with a knee. Looking right to the face. Ripley got her. Oh my God! Just chucking Oscar. Holy! Thinking leg drop, but Oscar got out the way and caught her with a drop kick once again. This has been a brutal matchup from the start, ladies and gentlemen. All for the women's world title. But then again, these are two of the, the most hard hitting stars out of the whole WWE roster in Asuka and Rhea Ripley. Turning her off the ropes and a drop kick. And now Asuka in deep trouble, stopping on the arm this Ripley. Right on the tricep. Yeah, Flats is going Ripley going off the top rope there. I gotta acknowledge that real quick. But look at Ripley, setting off the ropes, ducks under. Jumps over. Collar with a drop kick. Collar with a drop kick. Did Ripley. Things are going Ripley's way here in this match. Oh, they're gonna go for the time, but Asuka turned the tide there. And out Oscar with a on the offense here. Caught him with a neck breaker. Thinking bell to belly. Oh, rake right the eyes. Wicked shot to the face. Thinking boot blocked by Oscar. Kicked in the midsection. Oscar now. What's this? Oh no, hammerlock. Oh, to a spy buster. Go Ripley up to her feet real quick. Ripley got up real quick and then drives the knees to the abdomen. This has been a brutal match. Holy. One of the most hard hitting affairs I've ever witnessed between two superstars in a normal matchup. No weapons involved. Keep this in mind. We have a no holds barred match to come, ladies and gentlemen. That's Ripley. Trying to scout Asuka over and out, lands on the challenger. But look at Asuka, able to turn that around. Count of two by the referee. Ooh, but Asuka suffers a knee lift by Ripley. And now Ripley sends her back in the ring. Ripley back in the ring. What's Ripley going to do now? Ripley up top. Oscar's in deep trouble, not gonna like the view. Oh my god! Double axe handle from the top. Ripley was dominant in this match. Wow! Here is your winner, and still women's world champion, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley was dominant in this championship match. My God. Last time on Monday Night Raw, three episodes ago, where Seth Rollins defeated Randy Orton in a one-on-one -on -one match, but Randy Orton did promise to the WWE Universe that he owed Seth Rollins an ass whooping, and Randy Orton did deliver. Then allows for Seth Rollins to return on the previous episode of Raw at the expense of Randy Orton during his one-on-one -on -one match with Seth Rollins' protege, the Cruiserweight World Champion, Nathan Frazier. With Nathan Frazier coming up with a roll-up, able to get the 1-2-3, able to get the victory against the Viper. Randy Orton was pissed off about the loss, but in the end, turnabout was fair play in the mind of Seth Rollins. With these two having a no holds barred match here tonight, at the Royal Rumble, can these two withstand each other so much to where they can bear the Royal Rumble match later on tonight? We'll find out all tonight, live in Toronto. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No holds barred. The Viper. The Apex Predator, a man that's on a mission, Randy Orton. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper 
Randy Orton! Randy Orton is still mad about the fact that Seth Rollins defeated him for the WWE Championship back at Backlash last spring. Randy Orton couldn't get over the fact that he never got a rematch for the WWE title. Seth Rollins tried to plead for his rematch. Randy Orton decided he owed Seth Rollins an ass whooping. And he delivered on that on the last recent episodes of Raw in the last couple of weeks where Randy Orton dropped Seth Rollins with an RKO not once but twice, but then went after the protege in Nathan Frazier. But that, in hindsight, was not a good idea. That's Randy Orton going one on one with Seth and freaking Rollins. As the Torontonians are singing along for Seth Frickin' Rollins. Look at the waltz's way down towards Randy Orton in this no holds barred matchup. Seth Rollins wanted a another opportunity, almost like a another rematch, if you will, with the WWE Champion Gunther, but sadly not the case. But no doubt tonight, Rollins has his eyes set on the Royal Rumble match. But right now, Rollins and Randy Orton looking to duke it out before they do battle in the Royal Rumble match. Because it's all about going to the main event of WrestleMania. Randy Orton won the Rumble last year. Randy Orton won on to main event WrestleMania with Finn Balor and defeated Balor for the WWE title last year. Seth Rollins has never won the World Rumble, but he has made a event in WrestleMania before. As Rollins with a kick right to the face when WrestleMania was two nights back in 2K20. And now look at this, Randy Orton, Boston Crab, inverted Boston Crab on the Seth Rollins, but Rollins able to get out the hole. Big kick, able to take the Viper down. And all right, Rollins on the outside. Rollins gonna go for it. maybe a toy for all. We're gonna get a weapon, a ladder. Able to get a, able to get a ladder out here. And now Rollins, oh, climbing Orton onto the barricade. And set Rollins. Oh my God, face first. Right into the barricade, and now Rollins driving the kicks right to the face of Orton. And now look at, now bringing out a table. And coincidentally, the crowd chants, we want tables. How fitting for Randy Orton with a neck breaker, preventing Rollins from using that table. Able to send Orton back in the ring. But look at Orton, trying to get a victory by any means. Schoolboy got him down, but a kick at one. And Orton with a DDT. Oh, big kick to the face. And I'm being told right now, ladies and gentlemen, that Seth Rollins goes for this kick. Oh, right to the face of Orton. The women's Royal Rumble match will be taking place next after this matchup. That's Seth Rollins. Drives the elbow right to the left knee. Rollins up top. They're gonna fly. And he connects. Caught him on a lariat. Rollins, Randy Orton able to roll up to the outside. Rollins able to follow his suit. Preventing Orton from getting a weapon. As ooh, strikes after strikes. But oh, Rollins. Get to the midsection. And. Oh, into a neck breaker. Oh, but Randy able to counter. Rollins able to counter. And now it's Rollins to his. Oh, my God's last gift. The move that won him the Universal title at WrestleMania years ago. 
And now it's Rollins messing around with the announce table like John Cena did earlier tonight. Ooh, big shot to the face. But Rollins fires back on the form and another right. Kick to the gut. Randy Orton with a lariat. And now, oh my God. Face first off the announce table. Off the U.S. announce table on the DDT. Almost to the knee to the leg of Randy. Rollins dissecting Randy Orton here. And now it's Orton. Got him up on the shoulders. Snake guys on the apron. Ouch. That's going to leave a mark. Or they would have sent it back in the ring. And now it's uh oh. Or with a kendo stick. Randy York with a kendo stick. God almighty. Especially with blood on his, the side of his head. Does Orton goes for the cover, but Rollins able to kick out of two. Randy Orton was not afraid to give us his best Jose Batista impression. From the Blue Jays. Oh my God! Swinging for the fences. Put that Kendall stick moment to go. And then using the steps. And then busted open Seth Rollins in the process. Holy! And now they're going to send him. Send Randy Run back in the ring. That's Seth Rollins. Oh, they are able to slide. They're able to knock the, the steps out of his hand. And now it's Rollins getting back in the ring. But Randy Orton again going for a schoolboy. Could it be? Will it? No. Kick out at one. These two are unrelenting here tonight. They're going to send him off the ropes. Drop kick. And now it's Rollins. Rollins down. What the? Oh my God! What the? A bat? Wait, where did he get that from? Stinks locker room. What the? Oh wait! Oh my God! Randy Orton with the bat now. I mean, shout out to Steve. About to retire soon, but my God! Oh my God! Almighty! Over oh, Rollins. Over oh, Orton. Back and forth. Both men swinging for the fences, literally, with that black bat. And now Rollins with the kendo stick. He's just busting it all over Randy Orton's stomach. My God. Using the kendo stick and just bashing it into the abdomen. And then Orton breaks out the chair, but look at Randy Orton. Go! Oh! Got caught. Orton got caught. And now Rollins using the bat, swinging, my God. Punishing Randy Orton. These two are going to look like hell coming into the Rumble match later on tonight. What a shot, right to the, right to the skull. Orton got no hair on his head, he had no protection. Rollins now with the steps. He's thinking. But isn't, he doesn't want to risk hitting the, the WWE Universe, perhaps. He wants to hit Randy Orton. As Rollins caught him. Rollins waiting for Orton to get away from the barricade and connected with that shot. They try to swing for the chair. Randy Orton now. What's this? Powerbomb. Powerbomb City. No. And Rollins caught him on the knee. And now Rollins wants to use the chair. And he does. Onto the knee of Randy Orton. Rollins looking to punish Orton here. But Orton able to get him onto the barricade. And now Randy Orton. God, what a shot. Oh, Randy Orton now looking to be afraid to swing. Whether the crowd's there or not. Oh my God, to the, to the back, to the leg. Orton again, they're gonna punish Rollins. Rollins, and Rollins are gonna fight back here. Got the steps again. Oh, he was about to throw it. 
But Orton able to catch him. Sending him across ringside just to create a distance. And on Randy Orton, they want to do more damage. As both men fighting it out. DDT. Seth Rollins thinking Falcon Arrow. Oh my God. Falcon Arrow onto the floor. And now Rollins. What the? Oh my God. Not a sledgehammer. God almighty. The sledgehammer coming into play. Whoa. Oh my God. Seth Rollins. Jesus! He keeps going! It, oh my god! Rollins! Time to play the game indeed! Seth Rollins getting his his lip back, if you will, against Randy Orton tonight. Oh, caught him with a backbreaker in the Lariat. Oh my god! How many shots? What the sledgehammer? As Orton, look at that. Randy Orton just planted that steel steps right to the face of Rollins. And Rollins back for more. Orton trying to create distance. Rollins. Oh no. No. Oh, follow a slam. Every time Orton trying to knock down Seth Rollins, Rollins comes back for more. Does he, doesn't want the bat. Where's Seth going? But Randy Orton going back outside. Oh, so Rollins with the sledge. Oh! He wanted the sledgehammer. And he's using it. The only way he knows how. And I got the stats and... Oh my God! Jesus! Just launched the steps onto his body there. Able to send it back in the ring. What the hell? What? What the hell of a no old barred match? Good grief. Rollins setting him up. Dicky Curb stop, but no. Randy Orton able to catch Seth Rollins. In position. That Canadian deck breaker and Randy Orton now thinking it's time. RKO! The Viper struck. Rollins kicks out. You gotta be kidding me. After all that, that was that took place here tonight and before that, Rollins still has enough. Has enough energy, has enough will, power, life to continue the fight here. Randy Orton trying to figure out ways to demolish Seth Rollins tonight. And uh oh, uh oh, he's bringing in the steel steps. Look at Seth now, sending him off the ropes. Oh, collision, kick to the gut. Shot to the face, got him from behind. Rip Courtney! Orton. Orton in the corner. Seth Rollins with the steps. As Rollins again! Using the steps, but Orton. Oh, maybe the sidestep. Kick to the midsection. Here comes Rollins! Stop! Stop on Orton! Randy Orton got the shoulder up. You gotta be kidding me. You, you can't be serious, man. Good grief. These two will not give up. Trying to use the steps at set. Orton had him scouted. Kick. Orton trying to go for right. Rollins able to dodge. Got him here soon. No. Orton able to counter. Oh, up to the... German suplex by Randy Orton. And I think Rollins' head connected onto the steps. And now Randy with the strike. 
Orton, Exploder! And I got the steel steps. Oh, trying to use it, but wrong time. Scouting! Running kick! These two want to do some wicked damage with the steel steps. And Randy Orton suffers another blow with the steel steps. And now Seth Rollins, oh wait a minute, let's just use his steps again. Randy Orton, look at Orton, look at it, take advantage. That slight hesitation by Rollins. Oh, Randy Orton. RKO! That slight hesitation might have cost him. Randy Orton gets the win. Here wow. Is What a battle. I said it on Raw and I will say it again. These two beat the ever-loving shit out of each other. Randy Orton able to get vengeance in his mind. RKO, one, two, three, for the win. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one half of the Royal Rumble matches to take place. It's time to kick off the Women's Royal Rumble match, where the winner will get a title shot waiting for them in the main event of WrestleMania. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! Ooh! What a way to kick off the Royal Rumble, representing damage control. Here comes the former Women's World Champion, Dakota Kai. Introducing the participants. First, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai making her way down the aisle. Being a part of this women's Royal Rumble match, she has been in the past. Could Dakota Kai be the one? Could she outlast 29 other superstars in this bout in order to go to the grandest stage of them all in WrestleMania, which, which later on tonight, Triple H will announce the location of where we're gonna be at WrestleMania this year. What the? Hey! Who drew number two from Denver, Colorado, E. Torres! E. Torres! Are you kidding me? What is E doing here? E is number two in the women's rumble match. We haven't seen E. Torres in a WWE ring since 2012. And now she's back! It was actually around this time 11 years ago! And now the match begins! Here we go! And now Eve! They're gonna get rid of Dakota! And Dakota! Oh my god! Wow! Right off the gate, Dakota Kai! Eliminates Eve Tor. I mean, I mean, what a shocker for Eve to show up! But uh, wow, what a way to go out, huh? Well, every 60 seconds, I believe, every uh, participant will come in the Royal Rumble match. Well, I believe it's not. 
60 or 90 seconds, one of the two. Here we go. Who will be number three? Oh, representing SmackDown, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez, a woman that Dakota Kai knows very well. They've met before in tag team action. As wait a minute. Ooh. Nice uh, tilt to world by oh, Roxanne Perez and then a backstabber to follow. Roxanne able to hold her own against Dakota so far. Sending her off the ropes. And out connects with the Thes Press. As it's very rare that someone from a high number will win the Royal Rumble, at least in this universe now. You gotta have resilience, you gotta be out the way. Speaking out the way, who's gonna make their way out here? At number four. Ooh. One half of the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Trish Stratus. That's Dakota Kai. Able to plant Roxanne Perez there. As Trish Stratus is going to go on the attack. But Roxanne will fight back at Dakota Kai with a pump kick. Holy. Oh. Dakota Kai. Oh, wait a minute. Dakota eliminated. Roxanne Perez set up Dakota. Trish took out Roxanne, and then Trish takes out Dakota Kai. Holy. Trish Stratus. I'm sure loving the spotlight on her. Able to get the win over Gigi Dolan and Shotzi, along with Tiffany Stratton, to uh, win the women's tag team gold. Who will be number five in the Royal Rumble? Ooh, the women's, the former women's world champion, Liv Morgan, former Money in the Bank winner as well. And now, oh, trying to go for a clothesline. Ah, just trying from behind, able to take her down. And now Roxanne trying to fight. Trish able to hold her own. But now Liv, who's been on a different level all oh, year. Yeah! And Roxanne Perez. Wrong place, wrong time. Trish Stratus able to take advantage. And now Liv Morgan. I'm sure taking on so much she idolized in the past. And Trish Stratus. Look at trying to get one up over her. As here comes number six. HBIC. Former women's champion, Mia Yim. And now Yim trying to maybe get rid of Trish Stratus. Which allows Liv to take advantage of the opening. Boom! And got planted for her trouble to that bulldog. Did Mia Yim. And now Trish Stratus on the attack on Liv. And now they can live for the Hurricane Run. And now they can live for the springboard. Taking out Trish Stratus there. But look at Yim. Oh! HBIC with an elbow to the gut, allowing Trish to tap the capitalize with that neck breaker. And it, oh, what an axe kick there by Yim. Number seven. We're almost at 10 already. What? Am I reading that right? Stacy Kabler? She's doing in the Rumble, Rumble match. What the hell is Stacy Kibler? Oh, 
my God! And holy, she's tall. Good grief! But well, Stratus, uh, someone she's very familiar with, able to take care of her real quick. And Yim with that splash of the Liv Morgan. Oh, the oblivion! Liv takes out Trish. But all oh, Yim digging springboard but couldn't connect. And now look at that, Trish Stratus in the corner. And now Stacy Keebler back in the fray. Another oblivion by Liv Morgan on the Yim that time. Oh, but Stacy. Stacy Keebler, oh, back in a WWE ring. At least for tonight, I think so. Number eight, part of a lion. Said the Roxanne Perez is not out here for a tag team partner because Nikki the Lions is in the match now. Roxanne Perez, who was eliminated early in the match by Trish Stratus. And now, oh. Stacey Keebler able to take care of Trish. Yim taking care of Nikita momentarily. Stacey Keebler on the attack on the Yim. And now Stacey after Nikita. We're going to try to get rid of the rookie here of Nikita Lions. Yep. Dragon screwed there by Yim. And oh! German suplex there by Nikita on the Stacey. Got a rock in the corner. Flapjack by Yim, dropped to a hole by Liv, even toying with the Kita Lions. Oh, eat defeat by Mia Yim. Or Soul Food, if you will. Here comes number nine. Kaden Carter. Kenny Carter went after a tag team with their best friend, Katana Chance. Trying to chase after the women's tag team title. They're going to help out Mia Yim to get rid of Liv Morgan. Can they do it? Liv's hanging out for still What? Oh, but Stacy's eliminated. Nikita Lions with a big elimination. And now look at that Liv Morgan with a springboard drop kick. And then a double knees. The cold breaker by Liv. On to Caden Carter. Trish Stratus, num I believe number three entry, still in the matchup. Oh wait, rebound. Ooh, big kick to the face. Mayhem now, oh, it's an over the top. Oh, but able to hang on. Number 10. Oh, look who's back. Dana Brooke. I haven't seen Dana Brooke in a while. And then, boom. Oh, back suplex. Oh, took her down. Well, wait a minute. Nice roll through by Nikita Lyons. And what a takedown by Liv Morgan moments ago. Mitch, Mitch Little Crew driver there by Nikita Lyons. A title opportunity at either the Women's World or the WWE Women's Title on the line here. Oh, wait a minute, back to back eliminations. Cannon Crow eliminated by Liv Morgan. Yim eliminates Liv Morgan. Wow. And I'll try to do the same to Dana Brock with no dice. Now for number 11. Here comes former Miss Money in the Bank. They're gonna get a rematch on Raw this coming week. What a spin kick by the Kid Lions. Here comes Alexa Bliss. A series of offense there by Mia Yim on the Dana Brooke there moments ago. And now Mia Yim and Alexa are gonna go out of here. They're the only two standing in the ring now, right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what the? Wait a minute, Mia Yim! Alexa Bliss. Wow! She comes, she goes. Alexa Bliss eliminated so quick. Got the e Taurus treatment. Oh, what a spine buster by Tristratus. Mia Yim's on a roll here. Holy. 
Fire it up. Might have been fired up after that loss on SmackDown in the tag team match. It's damage control. Number 12 in the women's Royal Rumble match is the man, Becky Lynch. Because things are getting a little big time. But right out the gate, you saw Yem, she took down Becky right out the gate. I think she took her out with Soul Food. As Yem with a German suplex. Nikita going after Becky here. At number 12, Becky Lynch, number 12th entry. Look at Dana Brock, can't spring. Into a head scissors. Nikki Lariat couldn't get her. Nikita from behind. And Nikita sends me a yell out. Wow. Another big elimination by Nikita Lyons. Eliminated two former women's champions in this matchup. Wow. Number 13. What a swing. Swing. Becky Lynch around. Here comes Beck. Here comes Nikki Bella. Becky Lynch getting taken out by Trish Stratus. Stratus with the uh, submission applied. The Boston Crab. Nikki Bella returning to the ring once again here. Here in the Women's Rumble. They're going to set up Dana Brooke. Oh my God! Dana Brooke eliminated Nikki Bella! Things have not been going well for the Bellas lately. Holy. Oh my God. Another one just came and went. And look at Dana Brooke. Oh my God. Look at the Kid Alliance. Dana Brooke! Sending the Kid Alliance to the outside. Number 14, Raquel Rodriguez. Representing the SmackDown brand. As Becky Lynch representing Monday Night Raw with the submission. Along with, oh, to the for a boot. Along with Trish Stratus with a neck breaker. Raquel Rodriguez did a break from SmackDown. Oh. Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus from Raw. Look at Becky. Oh, no. Dana Brooke with that swinging neckbreaker. But look at Becky. Bad handle slam. Lynch, the only one standing tall here. Got to with that exploder. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the half point of this women's rumble match. Number 15. Devonese resident Mean Girl making her first rumble appearance. Here comes Cora Jane. And Dana Brooke was sent flying onto the outside. I mean, that's how Mia Yim got eliminated early in the match. Still to come, we have Triple H's announcement regarding WrestleMania. Bianca Belair, Gigi Dolan for the women's title. Carmelo Hayes and Gunther for the WWE Championship. And then the men's Royal Rumble match will close tonight's edition of the Rumble. As Becky Lynch with the Fisherman Suplex and the spot on the Pine by Raquel. Now look at Becky. Oh. Pump handle, follow a slam. Number 16. Speaking of 16, here comes Flair. Charlotte Flair. But we haven't seen it in weeks. Not back in the fray here tonight. Oh, trying to eliminate Raquel, does 
Trish Stratus, who Trish Stratus has beaten before at a premium live event back at SummerSlam last year. Oh my God! Big boot knocking down the queen. Oh wait! Oh. What an exploder by Charlotte Flair. But now look at Becky. Oh no! Neckbreaker! Out goes Cora Jade! And Becky goes right after Charlotte Flair. The history between these two. I'm sure Becky has not forgotten that the last time these two met in a one-on-one -on -one ring for the women's title, Charlotte Flair came out on top. Number 17, Alba Fire. Looking to inject some heat into this women's rumble. Who's Alba Fire? Goes right after Trish Stratus, which in hindsight, bad idea! Oh! Bodies are flying everywhere. Wait a minute, Flair! Natural selection! And another one, perhaps! On to Raquel! And now they're going to eliminate her, uh, front of me, if you will, and Becky Lynch does Charlotte. Oh, wait, Becky! Becky dodges Charlotte like a bullet. Good grief! Charlotte Flair's eliminated after a decent showing, number 18. Representing the way, here comes Ken the story. Bad showing for Charlotte overall. I mean, she had a great showing in during the match, but as far as her time in the match itself, disappointing, I would say. Ooh. Better avoid elimination. Neckbreaker. No. And now look at that. Candace Array able to take advantage. Raquel Rodriguez hanging on the bottom room for dear life. So is Trish Stratus. Becky and Candace Array in the ring here. Number 19. The new Miss Money in the Bank. Here comes Shayna Baszler. Alba Fire is gone. Tris, Tris hanging on. Tris hanging on. And we get back in the ring because of Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Able to prevent Becky Lynch from eliminating Tris Stratus there. Tris was hanging on by a thread. I don't know if it was inverted or premeditated, but either way. So we're hanging on, and Becky. Has been eliminated. Becky takes advantage. Out goes Candice. And look at Becky Lynch. What the hell? Becky Lynch takes out Raquel for the STF. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to our final stretch, the final ten. Here comes number twenty. Here comes a former Rumble winner, Bailey. And now, oh! Bailey ran right into Raquel Rodriguez's arms and got caught. Becky with the disarmor locked in on the Shayna Baszler. And Raquel with the Tahana bomb on the Bailey. Becky Lynch with the STF applied. I don't know if that's gonna, it's not gonna matter as far as tapping out goes, but it will matter as far as incapacitating her opponent, which is Becky seems to be doing. But look at Bailey in trouble. Baszler looking to throw her out. Raquel looking to fight back. 
elbow to the face of Becky Lynch. Number 21 is Raquel eliminated. And here comes Gigi Dolan. Who will be a part of the women's championship match later on tonight. And look at Gigi having an opportunity in the women's rumble. Former tag team champion. Lost the title to Trish Stratus who's now eliminated. And now look at Gigi setting up Shane in the corner. But Becky now got Gigi in position. Go! Oh! And now... Giving a plant her gut first. Bailey now thinking guillotine. Guillotine locked in. But Becky rolls through. And what a spear by Baszler on the Dolan. And a crossbody by Bailey. Number 22. Katana Chance. Dolan. Oh! That snap mirror rolled through. Knee to the face. Bailey with an attack on the Katana Chance. Bell in the belly! Man hit no slime on the GG. And now Bailey, Bezor, and Becky. The Triple B! All eliminated! Bailey eliminated by Becky! And now Becky looking to eliminate Baszler. Katana going after Gigi. Becky could be closing in. Oh, but Baszler better hang on. Look at this. Oh! Right to Gigi Katami by Baszler. Number 23. JCJ coming out to Jordan numbers. We'll see if she be we'll see if she be able to perform like Jordan here in this match. Meaning that she'll win the whole damn thing. She's looking at roll through by Baszler. Look at Katana! Slamming Gigi's head crashing right into the canvas. Music her legs nonetheless. Then the head scissors take that on the basil. And now Becky. And oh! JC catching Becky with an neck break. It looked like Becky and JC were about to double team. Look at Becky. Launch over the top rope. STF on the basil. GG with the lariat. Number 24, Toby Numbers. There comes Blair Davenport. And look at that, G oh, JC Chain hanging on. We'll see if Blair Davenport can give us her best Black Mamba impression, if you will, of getting the job done tonight. Setting her up the rolls. She's hanging on, Becky to eliminate Gigi. But look at that, her former tag team partner coming in to save her? I don't know. I don't know how Sonya Deville will feel about that. Oh, Katana with a double knees. Did Katana chance. And now Katana with a head scissors on the Blair. Katana flying all over the place. Now, ooh, pump kick by JC. And now number 25. Oh, Trish Stratus was here. She would have had some backup. But no dice. One half of the women's tag team champion. The other half from Trish in Tiffany Stratton. The tip in Trish and Tiff, if you will. And now Becky with the submission locked in. 
Becky with the submission on the Tiffany throughout the gate. No love lost between those two. And now look at Gigi. Axe kick. And oh! Punishing Blair Davenport. We got five women in this ring right now. Becky's been there since her number was 12. Becky was the 12th entry in this match. But still able to hang on. You gotta admire that out of the man. Oh! Falcon arrow there by Blair Davenport. We're down to a final five of the entrance coming in. Blair Davenport eliminated. Number 26. Here comes the Bolts. Best of all time in Natalia. Natalia, former women's tag team champion in this universe mode. As Santa Bays are pounding away over Stratton. Going after Becky now, who she has, she has a little history with in the past as well. When Becky would feud with Wanda, then she would feud with Basil sometimes. Double team by Stratton and Jane with that double DDT. Becky takes care of JC Jane. Power ball by Stratton on the katana. And now JC Jane taking suplex. No, lands on her feet. Drop kick. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got six women in this room right now. We have yet to see an eliminate. Wait a minute, Becky Lynch! Oh, table suplex! And a manhandle slam! A back spoiler and a manhandle slam! By Becky Lynch. Just on the about to say with you. Wait a minute. Number 27. Oh my god. Molly Holy. Molly Holy's in this match. Molly, she's a trainer at the WWE Performance Center. But she's out here, but wait a minute. JT Dolo with a crucifix bomb. Not afraid to give Molly her best shot right out the gate. Ladies and gentlemen, three more spots to fill, and we're done with this women's rumble match. And we will find a winner. We will have a winner out of the superstars inside the squared circle. Molly Holly got Miss Money to bank in Baszler. I think Natalia made Gigi Dolan submit, but that doesn't matter. Oh! Elimination! Miss Money to bank is gone. Shayna Baszler's been eliminated by the hands of Molly Holly and Natalia. And Becky's still in the match. Came from entrant number 12. But now, here comes number 28. Former women's champion. Former a Money in the Bank winner. Here comes Io Scott. Goes right after Becky Lynch. right by the barricade. The time of chance is gone. And now look at that. Gigi hanging on. Io hanging on. But Gigi hanging on still. Natalia! As Gigi gets eliminated. Natalia delivers a German suplex onto Becky Lynch. We are getting close, ladies and gentlemen. Exploded there by Becky. We are getting close. We 
We're just moments away of finding out who's going to main event WrestleMania for the women. Ooh, here comes Zion Lee. A woman who's been on the road for the last two months. She's beaten the former women's champion, Yale Sky included, with that moonsault. And Zaya Lee, oh, with that exploder suplex. And then Molly Holly with the head scissors on the EO. JC Jane hanging on. Still able to hang on. All these women are going to go and battle each other. They're going to do what they have to do to get to WrestleMania. They're going to do what they have to do to be the last one standing. We're getting close to that point. As ladies and gentlemen, here comes number 29, Lita. Number 30 is Lita. Look at JC Chain! Running kick. We haven't seen Lita outside of her match with Bianca Belair recently. We haven't seen much of Lita as of late. Nice to see her compete here in the World Rumble match, especially at number 30. How about their elbow by Natalia? Back suplex by Becky. Oh, just wrecking the back this Jason. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to our final competitors in the match. Whoever wins out of these superstars in the ring right now will be the winner going on the WrestleMania, the battle for the women's or women's world championship. Gets an elimination. Molly Holly gets an elimination. Eliminating Natalia. Lita got rid of Zaylee. Molly got rid of Natalia. We're down to the final five. We're down to the final five here. Becky again with the submission on the EO Sky. Running kick by JC J. Spot. Oh, Molly! Molly with a drop kick. Daisy Jane just on the ropes. Oh, but Becky trying to capitalize. Saw that there. Oh, what an expl exploder. What an exploder. And then like EO. Oh, butterfly backbreaker. Fisherman suplex by Becky Lynch and a kip up by Lita. Lita hanging on. Able to get back in the ring. Lee. Eo with the mood salt. And a spine bust in the boot. Look at JC Chain. Eliminated. We're down to the final four. We are down to the final four. Molly Holly, Lita, two legends. Taking on two current stars. Oh wait, Molly's eliminated. Look at Lita. Oh, the traditional Lita salt. Able to get the Lita salt. On to Becky Lynch. While Eo Slaughter is going to take advantage. Becky up to her feet. But Eo knocks her down. We are at the end of this match, ladies and gentlemen. 
Hell of a first hour, I would say. Oh! Galita. Trying to measure EO. Oh. Lita now. Lita. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. Hurricane Rana. Lita. Lita eliminated Zio. Has been eliminated. We're down to the final two. It's Lita and Becky. And Becky not afraid. Oh. To squash whatever aspirations Lita has for the women's title. Down the... They're gonna squash it. They're gonna throw it away. Throw it into the bin. We really got Becky. Oh, but Becky with an elbow. Kick to the midsection. Becky Lynch, Sticky Fisherman. Lead able to count into a small package. Very critical point between these two. Very critical point in the match. But it's the final two! Manhandle slam! Manhandle slam! Becky Lynch bringing Lita over to the ropes. Becky Lynch, Exploder! Becky wins the Royal Rumble! Becky Lynch will main event Russell Mania against who? We'll find out in the next coming weeks heading towards WrestleMania. My God, what a match! Well, and I did. It's been, ladies and gentlemen. But coming up next, it's now time to hear from the Chief Content Officer of WWE, Triple H, looking to address. WrestleMania in front of the entire WWE Universe. As ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play the game. As here comes Triple H, the multiple time world champion. WWE Hall of Famer! The man who calls the shots. Triple H is live in living color. You rarely see, you rarely see Triple H on our screens, but no doubt the game is very hands-on with Universe Mode. As tonight, Triple H, this is his first Royal Rumble Premium Live event where he's solely in charge. Outside of Bret Hart, outside of Adam Pierce, the Raw SmackDown General Managers. What could be the announcement? We're gonna find out from the game. That's Triple H greeting the entire audience here live in BMO Field in Toronto, Canada. Here live for the Royal Rumble. The game. The boss. They're going to do what's best for business here tonight. But let's see what's on the mind of Triple H. How would he address WrestleMania? How's everybody doing? You're enjoying the Royal Rumble? Well, before we continue the show, I'd like to talk about where this year's WrestleMania is going to be. Myself, Nick Khan, and the rest of our team searched far and wide until we realized that we haven't been home in a while. We started in this specific place, and we continue to make history in that place. So for the first time in this universe mode, WrestleMania will be located in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium. Oh, wow. Now with that announcement out of the way, 
I want to discuss season 10 and where we're going. After further analysis and looking deeply into the numbers, we have come up with a way to balance everything out. So, after tonight, the brand split is officially over. Oh, man. We will stick with Monday Night Raw as one brand for the time being, as SmackDown will go on hiatus, which means there's no longer a Raw superstar and a SmackDown superstar for the time being. So what does that mean about the roster? Once One WWE roster? And I know everybody is wondering, what about the championships? For now, we're going to keep everything as it is. And yes, WWE Raw will increase the time in the show to feature the best that WWE has to offer on a weekly basis. Now, luckily, I don't have to manage the WWE superstars on a weekly basis alone. What the? Triple H call for backup. Here comes Shawn Michaels. What the hell is going on here? The heart break. Ted is live in Toronto. Triple H. Dropping a freaking nuke! Season 10! The Bronx one is no more! He said that we're keeping the championships. Everything stays the same. SmackDown will be on hiatus. Monday Night Raw will be the sole brand moving forward starting tonight. Going into season 10. And right as Triple H claims that he has backup, that he's not looking to foresee the WWE Raw or WWE roster by himself. Well, would you look at what we have here? Degeneration X back in the saddle again. WrestleMania is going to be grand spectacle in the state that it was born in New York. And there's another announcement that you're missing, Hunter. For the first time since 2K20, this coming WrestleMania will be a two-night event to showcase 12 matches split between two nights. Oh, and I will officially announce that night one will feature the Women's Royal Rumble winner versus the champion of her choice in the main Ooh. event. Becky Lynch gets the main event night one. As you will be the commissioner of the WWE, the board and I made a great choice on someone that has earned this right. Adam Pierce and Bret Hart were great for the brand split, but for one brand. We needed someone like you, Sean. Oh, wow. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for ya. Triple H calling his friend for backup. The WWE landscape just shook. Triple H just shook WWE to its very core. The brand split starting after tonight is no more. Oh, I can't wait to see how that's going to unfold. But WrestleMania will be live in Yankee Stadium in the Bronx of New York. Can't wait for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, WWE Women's title on the line, Gigi Dolan challenging the EST. Let's show you how this all came about back at the Elimination Chamber Premium Live event. Can Gigi Dolan withstand and win the title? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Gigi Dolan has had a hell of a ride over the last two months here in Universe Mode. 
from being the woman who got the pinfall victory at Survivor Series. Keep that in mind. Gigi Dolan's momentum began when she won War Games for Team Zoe at Survivor Series. Then went on to win tag team matches, went on to win the tag team titles with Shotzi. Then went on to win the Elimination Chamber match and got herself this opportunity here tonight. Lost the tag titles on Raw this past week. No doubt in my mind, despite that Gigi Dolan had a lot on her mind over the last month, tonight, there's one thing she's focused on, and that is the WWE Women's Championship. She has her eyes set on the EST. Look at it grow and rise like a beautiful flower. But here comes the EST. Who's been done this? Who's been up this level for so long? Bianca Belair, the WWE Women's Champion. This woman has reached to heights that, honestly, I've never seen anybody reach yet. Bianca Belair, no doubt, 2K23 was her season. She won the title at Backlash and held it all the way. She held it all the way until the Monday Night Raw three weeks before Survivor Series. But now tonight, she defends it against Gigi. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca WWE Women's Championship on the line. The top prize in the women's division. Bianca Belair, Gigi Dolan, one-on-one. -on -one. The kick to the gut. Bianca Belair, Pompando, right into the gut buster. We saw Gigi compete in the Rumble match earlier. Couldn't get the job done, but she did last in quite a while. But no doubt, Maybe able to shake off a bit of ring rust, if you will, or, or able to shake off any nerves heading into this match tonight. Oh! And now Bianca Belair, they're gonna do what she has to do. They're gonna do what she always does. Display her strength in front of the world and dominate. That's Belair. Got Gigi from behind. Oh my God, Bell the back driver. Oof. Shot after shot. And now, Bell Air just laying it in to Gigi Dolan. Not backing down. Putting up a fight. There comes Dolan. Dolan not looking to back down. Former tag team champion. Now got her. Back suplex. At least Gigi knows what it's like to hold on to championship gold. Had at least a successful title defense with Shotzi against Katana Chan to Kenny Carter. Before losing it to Trish Stratus and Tiffany Stratton on Raw this past week. Now focused on winning the women's title. She won the women's chamber. She won the tag titles. Can she pull off the hat trick? I'm winning the women's title here tonight. 
Belair with those strikes. Looking to prevent that from happening. Glam slam. That's how she beats Zoe Stark at Elimination Chamber. Is it enough? No, shoulder for two. DG able to find an opening with that kick. Oh, well, sticking something. Made it messed up her right knee there. But Bellotta going to take advantage. Spine on the pine. Is Bellotta going to work on that left knee? It was the right knee that Gigi was holding. But the left knee, Bellotta going to target. Belair now in deep trouble. Black Widow armbar submission. Belair, look at that, able to escape. We saw Gigi Dolan made uh, one of the competitors in the Rumble match submit earlier with that submission hold indeed. Well, wait a minute, Dolan taking crucifix bomb. Got her hooked to win the women's title. Belair kicks out of two. The EST not going down without a damn fight. And Gigi Dolan's willing to risk it all for the women's title. Tope Suicida. And it's like Gigi knows that. She knows that she has to risk it all. She knows she has to go outside the box in order to beat someone like Bianca Belair. Who no doubt has had a hell of a year in 2K23. Oh my god, kick after kick, knocking Belair down. Count of five, ooh, able to drive the knee. Belair able to send her back in the ring. Bianca looking to retain the women's title once again. She defeated Zoe Stark in that Iron Woman match on Raw's day one. And now they're gonna put Gigi away. Kiss of death, the KOD for the retain. Dolan kicks out of two! Beller up top! Elbow drop! As like a contingency plan for Beller! Bianca feels that the end is near. But she has Gigi right where she wanted. She may have kicked out the KOD, but no doubt Bella are going to put a hurting on the GG Dolan to make sure that she does not get up again. Belair might be fueled by anger, but GG, they're going to take advantage. Leg sweep, clothesline, and again, GG. How does she keep doing this? able to find an opening. How does GG keep continue to fight? Dolan with the Black Widow. Belair's in trouble. All the win on the back of the neck of Belair. Of Gigi Dolan, but Dolan got taken down with a drop toe hold. Kick to the midsection. Dolan, Dolan caught Belair. Crucifix, boom! In the middle of the ring. Could it be time? Dolan's the champion. Oh my god! New! And new WWE Women's Champion, Gigi Dolan! Gigi Dolan has achieved her dream of winning the Women's Championship! Wow! Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next. It's now time for the ultimate battle. Two undefeated streaks. One will be broken tonight. Champion versus champion. Hayes won the Elimination Chamber to battle Gunther for his WWE Championship. And it's next. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the Intercontinental Champion. 
Carmelo Hayes won the championship at SummerSlam defeating the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre held the title since then never lost a championship once defended the title against numerous opponents including the likes of Randy Orton and now tonight his title is not on the line but his undefeated streak is as Carmelo Hayes going one on one with another undefeated streak competitor in Gunther. Can the Intercontinental Champion dethrone the WWE Champion? It's happened once in history when the Ultimate Warrior beat Hogan. Here comes the ring general. And you notice, ladies and gentlemen, no Ludwig Kaiser, no Giovanni Vinci for Gunther, no members of Imperium in this match, and no members of the Hurt Business for Carmelo Hayes in this match. These two looking to duke it out one on one. And honestly, I'm not mad about that one bit. I want to see how these two are going to go at it one-on-one -on -one with no one to bother, no one to interfere, no one to cost anyone anything. Someone will win or lose clean. Carmelo Hayes, a man who's accomplished a lot in the last year. So has this man, the WWE Champion. The man head and shoulders above all in this company. WWE Champion Gunther, Ring General, the undefeated King of the Ring. The only man in history to win the King of the Ring tournament and never lost a single match. WWE title on the line. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in. WWE title will be on the line. That was a lot of ovation between these two superstars. Crowd is in favor of Hayes more than Gunther, to say the least. Not about the popularity contest, though. It's about that prestigious WWE Championship. Born in April of 1963, first champion was the Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. All the way down to now, the ring general Gunther as he defends the title against the up and coming star in Carmelo Hayes. Hook of the leg, show up at one. And this is normally what the Intercontinental Championship does. It will bring you to this level to where you will actually get a title match against the WWE Champion. Hayes is going to walk away as a double champ tonight. Oh, able to dodge the kick. Got the elbow, the good third and drop kick the boots. And now Hayes on the outside. Able to wait for Gunther to come outside, and now they're gonna take advantage. Gunther sends him into the barricade. Back first. Ouch. As Gunther able to maybe create distance to get back in the ring. Gunther is the man that wants to settle inside the squared circle. He believes that the, the mat is sacred to him and other members of Imperium, Kaiser, and Vincius. Gunther with a back body drop on the Hayes. Goes for the cover. Lateral press. Hayes popped up at one. And oh! Able to drive the knee to Gunther. That's the ring general punishing Hayes here. I mean, who could, have, who could forget 
when Hayes did to Gunther on Raw a few weeks ago. After Gunther defeated Trick Williams, Gunther got bashed in the head by Carmelo Hayes with the WWE Championship. No doubt Gunther due to get revenge. And now just driving his boot onto the open wound of Carmelo Hayes who's busted open here. Gonna go for a kick, couldn't get it. Oh, come on an elbow, close on in the corner. Able to sandwich the ring general in the corner, launched him out. And got there again, right off the gate, drop kick. The second he got to his feet, he knocked him down with a drop kick, and now they're gonna take advantage of the open wound. They're gonna take advantage of the busted skull here. They're gonna take advantage here with the silver hole. Silver hole locked in by the ring general Gunther. With Hayes, Hayes now continues to fight. Elbows to the ribs, got him down. Shoulders are down. Gunther scrambling, able to get the hole. Boy, oh, Gunther got him. Power ball. Oh, they run the middle of the ring. Power ball. Stacks him high and Hayes kicked it to. Oh my God. Carmelo Hayes got a lot of fight left in him. Hayes drop kick. Oh. Form in the face by Carmelo. Knocking down Gunther. Hey, what's Hayes thinking here? He wants the crowd to back him up. Shoulder to the gut. Hayes, that slight hint of hesitation and distraction allowed Gunther to take advantage. That's Gunther. Oh, able to counter Hayes. Carmelo Hayes, he's done his damnness to continue to fight here. The man kicked out of a power bomb from Gunther that won him the championship. Or that won him, rather, the king of the ring. Yet, Hayes continues to fight. As Gunther tries to find a way to do more damage, Hayes finds an opening. Kick to the midsection, DDT onto the ring general. Carmelo Hayes stop close off. And again, Hayes ducks, kick. Caught him with a kick, and now here comes Hayes, looking to get Gunther's blood. Gunther busted him open, and now Hayes are gonna do the same here. Look at Gunther trying to get up to his feet in the corner. Hayes are gonna measure his man here. Got Gunther locked up. Fade away! Could he win the WWE title off the fadeaway? Got the ropes and Gunther had no choice. He had to kick out. He did not want to lose the title. Did not want to get screwed by the referee. The referee would have inadvertently not seen Gunther grab the bottom rope, which Gunther had no choice but the power out. And now Gunther looking to do what he can to wear down and break down Carmelo Hayes. Got him from behind now with the sleeper hold. Sleeper hold locked in. Hayes is fading. The Intercontinental Champion is fading away. No, he's not. Hayes elbows. Maybe fading as Hayes got him looked. Look at him. Oh, almost had him. And Carmelo Hayes with a head scissors takedown. Oh, but Gunther. Every time it seems that Hayes is going to come back, it, Gunther turns it around. Got him a fireman's carry right into the power bomb. Stacks him high. Gunther retains. What a match. What a brawl.
champion, Gunter! Carmelo Hayes, you got nothing to be ashamed of. You put up a hell of a fight against the ring general. But there's just something about Gunther within the last couple of months where something got turned on and Gunther's untouchable now. The ring general remains as your WWE champion and he's going to Yankee Stadium in New York in the Bronx to WrestleMania, the final show of season nine. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. But ladies and gentlemen, don't want to miss the next episode of Monday Night Raw where we're going to see Alexa Bliss take on Santa Baser in an Extreme Rules match for the Money in the Bank contract. Can Bliss win it back once again or will Baser keep it this time? We'll find out in the next episode of Raw. Also, despite what happened moments ago with Gunther retaining the title, Carmella Hayes will team up with Trick Williams to take on Luffy Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci of Imperium on the next episode of Raw. Also, after winning the Women's Royal Rumble, we will hear and see Becky Lynch in action as Becky Lynch will go one-on-one -on -one with Damage Control's own Bailey. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event. The 30-man Royal Rumble match. Who will win the Rumble? And who will main event night two of WrestleMania? The following is the Royal Rumble match. Now. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Who is number one? Oh! It's been a while! Introducing the participants. First, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! Jimmy Uso! We haven't seen him since the summer! Jimmy Uso gone with an arm injury, returning here tonight, number one entry in the Royal Rumble match. Very interesting to start the Rumble here tonight, but what a way to return for Jimmy Uso. New theme, standing tall with the bright lights in the main event of the Royal Rumble. The first entry in the Rumble match. Who's number two? It would be real hilarious if number two was Jay. What? Holy! Jay Uso! Introducing the individual who drew number two, representing the Uso from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay. Now this is going to be very interesting ladies and gentlemen because well there's no really any blood or any love lost between Jay and Jimmy. I mean they both left the bloodline together. They both broke out. They never really turned on each other. They've been in tag team matches. But they're the first two to start this match. And I guess they're not willing to fight each other. At least not yet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Both men taught to the WWE Universe, I guess, or just waiting for the next entry. They're not going to fight each other. Who's number three here in the Royal Rumble? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me, Brock Lesnar! And right off the gate, Jey Uso with a bulldog and a super kick. And I don't, oh, oh no! 
Well, I was about to say, the Usos is about to gang up on Lester. Jey Uso might have inadvertently attacked his brother. And now Jimmy looking to want to get his payback. But look at Jay carrying Lester of all people. And now the brothers are going to unfold here. Number four. There comes Braun Breaker. Had a great showing with John Cena on SmackDown two weeks ago. As Braun Breaker, they're going to watch on. As they're going to capitalize now. Braun, uh, Braun Breaker and Brock Lesnar. I mean, they had a matchup at WrestleMania last year. I'm surprised they didn't go at it right now in the Rumble. Number five in the Royal Rumble. Standing moves up there by Braun. Here comes Austin Theory, Mr. Eight Town Down. Here we go. So the the breaker able to counter inverted DDT. Austin Theory able to drop Lesnar with a DDT. Big drop kick there by Jimmy. As Jay Uso been sent to the corner. Maybe Jimmy they're gonna. No, never mind. They're gonna go after each other. Count of six. Number six is Rey Mysterio. As again Jimmy. DDT on his brother. But look at Lester. Sending Jim. Oh no, Jimmy. And Jay ran into escape. Jay was open to escape at the F5. Look at Jay thinking suplex like Braun Bricker doing the Jimmy Uso. But Braun Bricker connects while Lester countered the suplex attempt. Wow. And now, number seven. And the men's war rumble. The Scottish Warrior. We saw Becky Lynch at number 12 won the whole rumble. So who knows? Anyone from this spot right now can if they can last, they can win it. Look at this. DDT counter by Jam and Lester. Spine busted there by Jimmy on the theory. Here comes number not eight. Bobby Lashley, the almighty. The man that's had history of the Royal, Royal Rumble. The match with the late great Luke Harper for the Universal title. A great match I'll never forget calling. And look at, look at, look at Jimmy Use. Super kick on the list. Ron Bricker with a hurt from Rana or Frankensteiner. Look at Jimmy set over the top. Jimmy's the first one to come in the rumble and the first one to go. That's crazy. He took up to eight participants for one elimination. Lester got rid of Jimmy. Jay still in the match. Look at Lester. German on the theory. Oh my god, what a suplex by last on the jet. So many bodies at once. Nice to able to shift his weight counter in Drew McIntyre. And now, ladies and gentlemen, number nine will make his way out here. Axiom. Interesting timing. For a WWE's comic superhero making his way into the Rumble match for the very first or second time. Got him in the corner. Axiom eliminates Rey Mysterio. And now Axiom and Theory in the corner. Mac and 
McIntyre, unless they're going at it in the corner as well. The Theory, or McIntyre, takes out Blashley. And Jay, DDT. And Blashley with the elevated flatliner. Jay with a clothesline. McIntyre swinging for the fences with a Michinoku driver. Lester takes out Braun, and now they're gonna take out Drew McIntyre. All for number 10. One third of the rumble has come and gone. Oh my God. Goldberg's in the house. Goldberg in the Royal Rumble match, taking it towards everybody here. Lester and Goldberg, I mean the history between these two, especially in their rivalry 2K17. The rivalry spanned from 16 to 17. When Goldberg returned, beating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania in 2K16 to go on to to face Lesnar into a hell of a cell at Unforgiven 2K17. What a suplex by Breaker on the Lashley. Shooting star press by Axiom. Big high knee by Axiom. Busted there by Breaker. A lot of bodies in this ring. Lesnar. He's trying to take care of Jay Uso. Axiom got Ken. Lesnar hanging on. Now look at Lesnar. Bear hug on the Breaker. Could Lesnar be thinking elimination? They're gonna toss Breaker over the top. Nope, not the case. Not the case at all. Big kick to the gut. DDT. And now the Lashley eliminated. Theory eliminated Lashley. And now Goldberg. They're gonna take care of Bro. Oh no! Oos from behind. And you saw Lester wanted to eliminate Breaker, but Breaker got back in the ring. Number 11, the Herald of Doomsday, carrying Cross. Lester, F5, go on the James Sun. Fury, eight town down on the Cross. Lester with a knee lift on the Fury. Les, there's a lot of history with a lot of these guys in this ring. Goldberg, Braun Breaker, and Kyrian Cross. All within the last couple of years. Oh, wait a minute! Here comes Mr. Money in the Bank, Rob Van Dam! RVD returns here tonight at the Royal Rumble. And I look at Braun Breaker, what's this? Oh, Gorilla Press. I thought it was eliminated over the top rope, but not the case. Look at Lester, giving Goldberg a farewell at five. Ilya Dragunov, the mad Russian has come to play in the Rumble. Breaker eliminated. Breaker's eliminated, Theory hangs on. Remember Brock Lesnar, number three, able to hang on in this Royal Rumble. Theory's been eliminated. I believe we've seen 13 competitors. Goldberg with that shot knocking down Lesnar. And now Goldberg got Lesnar in position. And Lesnar's eliminated.
Goldberg able to eliminate the Beast. Cross. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. What a move by RVD, but then Goldberg with that pump handle. Number 14, I believe. Yes. Here comes Butch. Otherwise known as Pete Dunn. The nickname given by Seamus. He called Butch, but overall, Pete Dunn, a well decorated star in this series. Ooh, nice counter by Jay Uso on the Goldberg. Got him up. Samoa drop there by Jay. Number 15, half point in this rumble match. Representing the new day is Jay Uso is eliminated. Here comes Kofi Kingston representing the new day. Still a lot of bodies in this match. There are six people in this ring. Oh, DDT on the Goldberg by RVD. Here comes number 16. Oh, it's been a while. Welcome back, Apollo Crews. And you saw RVD trying to get involved. He took down Kofi Kingston momentarily. Jack Hammer on the Pete Dunn by Goldberg. And now, oh! What a power bomb there by Goldberg. And he took out RVD moments ago. Number 17. Awaits. We got the Nigerian Giant in the Royal Rumble. This year's Rumble has been stacked, I will say. WrestleMania might be even bigger, if you will. But yet, this man is here to terrorize the entire roster in Omas. and Ilya Dragunov. Oh, meeting in the minds by Kofi by Kingston, rather. And now Ilya Dragunov strikes over for Omos. Wait a minute, Ilya Dragunov. Look at Dragunov eliminates Omos. Oh my God. The mad Russian eliminates the Nigerian Giants. Kofi kicks him with an inverted suplex. Goldberg, STO, Blicker Cruz looking to eliminate. Ilya hanging on. And Ilya still in the match. And Apollo Cruz sent flying over the top. Cruz is out by his own doing. Ilya Dragunov using his momentum to counter. And now, number 18 in the Rumble. What half of the Tag Team Champions as Mr. Mega Bank RVD got eliminated. Here comes what half of the Tag Team Champions and Kevin Owens. A man who won the Royal Rumble in 2K18. Went out to main event against the late Greek Bray Wyatt and won the WWE Championship. Who also, Bray Wyatt has won the Royal Rumble, rest in peace, 
to Wyndham Rotunda. Oh, Kevin Owens. Number 19, the Prince. The man who gave the assist to Damian Priest to retain the light heavyweight title on SmackDown, Finn Balor, who was swinging for the fences with a steel chip. Finn Balor, a man who's had a lot of history with the Royal Rumble himself. I'll never forget Finn Balor. When he lo Wait a minute, look at Pete Dunne! Bitter end! Number 20, we're down to the final 10. Here comes Ricochet. Finn Balor won the, or no, rather he lost to Roman Reigns at this very event for the Universal title. Ilya Dragunov eliminated by Kofi Kingston. As Balor with that Pele kick on the Kofi moments ago. STO on the ricochet. Balor, the man who lost the Universal title to AJ Styles. 440 days as Universal Champion up in smoke by the hands of the phenomenal AJ Styles. And it happened here at the Royal Rumble. Goldberg, the last time he was WWE Champion in this universe mode was at this event, the Royal Rumble, when he lost to Seth Rollins in 2K18. A lot of history at the Rumble, no doubt about it. But a half and half by Butch, if you will. Let's cross sent him in the corner, number 21. And with everybody saying it, it's L.A. Knight! Yeah! Goldberg. Goldberg got Kofi. And look at Kofi, able to escape out of the jackhammer. And oh, cross on the big points. Points. And they're not hanging out on the apron for dear life. But I can't believe Butch got eliminated there. Oh, LA Knight! Bauer eliminated LA Knight! And Bauer eliminates Cross! And Cross! Kevin Owens eliminates! Holy cow! These eliminations were dropping like flies! Good grief! One after the other! Especially that Finn Bauer eliminated Kieran Cross! Finn Balor eliminated Kerry Cross and then a, then a superstar right after that. Like, it's crazy. Trying to drive the knee, couldn't get it. Flying forearm. Kicked in the bed section by Balor. Balor going to be the one to win the Royal Rumble. Ricochet has been eliminated. Eliminates Ricochet, a former WWE champion who debuted at this very event and won the title from AJ Styles, number 22. Johnny Gargano. Again, a lot of crazy events have happened at this Royal Rumble Premium Live event. Kevin Owens even got a win over his now tag team partner, Sami Zayn, at this very event in 2K19. I'm telling you, this universe mode runs deep, ladies and gentlemen. Almost 10 years! Number 23! Oh wow! Grayson Waller coming out to LeBron numbers here tonight. Look at Balor thinking crossbody. Couldn't get him. And now look at Balor float over. DDT does connect. Balor thinking suplex. No. Look at that. Oh my god, what a move by Grayson Waller. Just planted Balor. And now number 24. The Cruiserweight World Champion making his way out here. Kevin 
no, it's up and over. Grayson Waller over to Platt, Nathan Fraser. Wicked Lariat by Bauer. Big elbow to the face. Ballou trying to eliminate Gargano. Able to hang on. Number 25. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who won earlier tonight, the Viper, Randy Orton. Oof. What a shot to the gut there by Randy. Uppercut as well. Roy Rumble. Here comes the Tribal Chief. Here comes Roman Reigns. The man who made a vow that he's looking to win the Rumble tonight. Looking to get back to his old ways. His old winning ways. He recognized the flaws in his game over the last year. And he's looking to rectify that starting tonight with the Roy Rumble. Number 27. Roman eliminates Waller. Sami Zayn makes his way into the rumble. Kevin Owens got some backup here tonight. But look at Roman and Kevin. Double suplex. Sami Zayn. Got Finn Balor up and over. Uppercut by Finn, or Randy Orton rather. And then Gargano took care of Orton. Back suit, no, Gargano counters. Drop kick. Samuel, I think he was able to dodge that. Inverted DDT. Go, ladies and gentlemen, number 28, the best in the world, and CM Punk. Ben Balor hanging out by a thread, but able to still be in the match. We're coming up to our final two participants in the Royal Rumble. Punk was number 28. by Punk. Nathan Fraser with a pop up power bomb by Kevin Owens. And now Gargano, Hangman, Nickbreaker, Saints eliminated. Wow. Poor showing for Sami Zayn, the other half of the WWE Tag Team Championships. The CM Punk Talk to the WWE Universe. Sami Zayn sadly eliminated. My God. As Nathan Fraser going after the big dog, Roman Reigns. But look at Balor. Got Fraser with an arm drag. But now Balor goes after the Reigns. But now Randy Orton and Balor. A lot of history between these two. Randy Orton won the Rumble last year. He fought that man, Finn Balor, for the WWE title. Randy Orton, full Nelson, slam on the Kevin Owens. And now, what's Randy? Oh no, Roman. Oh, come on, Roman. He's got a bad back. Oh my God, Randy Orton has been eliminated after that Dolls Born match. Roman Reigns eliminates Randy Orton, and now here comes number 29, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Stunner on the Reigns. Stunner on to Reigns. Here we go, Cody Rhodes, Mike Form, Nick DeFraser with that takedown on the Kevin Owens. Is it going to work? 
Uh, what happened to the Tag Team Champion? You got a champion versus champion action going on here. Nathan Frazier thinking Phoenix Splash, but Kevin Owens got out the way. And look at Roman with Cody Rhodes. Doing battle over there. Battle to take care of Fraser and Punk and Gargano. These are the final men before number 30. I mean, honestly, you can't even be mad. You can't even be mad that Malachi Black Number 30 in the men's Royal Rumble. This man has been a machine, has defeated Roman Reigns and CM Punk all within a span of a whole two weeks. That's Kevin Owens. Torture rack neckbreaker onto, I believe, Finn Balor. Roman Reigns takes care of the United States Champion, Cody Rhodes. A lot of champions in this ring here. A lot of men have held world titles. Malachi, CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, and Kevin Owens, who's now been eliminated. All have held world titles. Finn Balor, like I mentioned earlier. But now, we're down to our final bunch of the group. Pedigree by Cody Rhodes on the Roman Reigns. But Malachi and Cody, they have a lot of history between these two. Over well elsewhere, but still. Oh, the feeling is still the same between Rhodes and Black. Gargano got Fraser in the corner. I'm sure Gargano would love to challenge Nathan Fraser for his Cruiserweight Championship. Cruiserweight World title. Gargano got a real in. Knocked down by Reigns. We got seven stars in the ring right now. Make that six. Nathan Frazier has been Gargano eliminated. eliminates Nathan Frazier. Big knee to the midsection. Oh no, Sia Punk. Sia Punk's in trouble. Roman Reigns has eliminated Sia Punk. Gargano's hanging on, hanging on. Able to get back in. And then Roman with the exploder on the bower. What a spinning knee there by Malachi. My God. And now we're, what's Gargano doing? Gargano super kick. Malachi hanging on. Cross Rhodes on the Malachi Black by Cody Rhodes. And now Cody going after Roman Reigns here. Balor after Gargano. Malachi in the center of the ring. Laid out by the Cross Rhodes. Reigns with an elbow. Gargano counters as well. Malachi starting to stir. Malachi up to his feet now. Balor got him on the ropes. Balor sends him over the top. Rhodes barely got back in. We're down to the final four. Balor, Reigns, Rhodes, Black. Who's going to main event night two of WrestleMania? Cody Rhodes. Oh, got Malachi. Balor. Oh, got taken down. Roman firing back. Balor thinking 1916. Balor and Reigns, a lot of history between these two. Like I mentioned earlier, Balor and Reigns fought for the Universal title at the Royal Rumble in 2K18. That's Malachi. Here comes the strikes. Oh my God! And now look at Reigns, send Malachi over, but Malachi hangs on. And now it's Malachi. Got Reigns in the corner. Oh, but Balor 
who's also of history with Malachi in 2K18. Great. Ba oh, Balor, able to hang on, able to hang on. The final four still hanging on strong. Knee left there by Reigns. Balor from behind. Got Malachi in the corner. They're gonna try to work on Malachi here. Maybe elimination is, no. Not in the cards. Elimination not in the cards for Malachi just yet. As Malachi watching on and, and takes advantage as Reigns planted battle with that exploded suplex. And now Rhodes got caught. He got back in the fray to get knocked back down. And now look at this. Oh, Reigns caught Malachi and Cody caught Reigns. We're down to the final two. It's Cody. It's Bauer. Who's going to WrestleMania? And Cody with a flying forearm on the Finn Balor. Oh, caught him on the knee. Balor trying to fight. Rhodes kicks back. Cody cross Rhodes. Cross Rhodes by Cody. And now sending him over. Balor's hanging on. Cody trying to eliminate him, but Balor got back in the ring in time. We're down to the final stretch between these two. That's Cody Rhodes with the strikes. Oh my God, what a chop. Kick to the midsection. Oh, caught him. Rhodes making sure that he's weakened Finn Balor, laying in heavy strikes and shades of his father. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes with that elbow. The bionic elbow there by Rhodes. And the Cody again, trying to weather the storm. Kick to the gun again, caught him. Able to catch Balor, and again. And now Rhodes, sending Balor over at the top. And then Rhodes eliminates Balor. Cody Rhodes is going to WrestleMania. is one step closer to finishing that story. My God, get out of your buddy from the Royal Rumble.